Welcome to another day of smoking with Joe. Today we're gonna smoke some cheese. Uh, if you've never smoked cheese before or had smoked cheese, well, you're in for a treat. It's actually quite tasty. It tastes good with a lot of things from sandwiches to pairing with your favorite red wine. But before we get going here, make sure that you stick around to the very end because we're gonna be giving away a discount coupon code for some great deals at bradleysmoker.com. And if you want lots of great ideas for smoked food, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. Uh, we have a channel full of great videos that show you how to smoke all kinds of things. And we'll be pushing out a lot more video in the future, so you want to be on the subscription uh, list for sure. So I have four types of uh, cheese here that I'm going to smoke today. Two pieces of uh, Hollandia Gouda, some Balderson uh, cheddar, Jarlsberg or Jarlsberg, which is kind of like a Swiss cheese. And I've got uh, another Swiss white cheddar. It's a mild white cheddar that grew here. I just took them out of the fridge. They're nice and cool. And that's how I want to put them into the smoker. So I'm going to put them in right away so that they don't get too warm as the temperature in the smoker starts to, to rise. I don't want to let any of them melt. I don't want any of them sort of getting stuck to the uh, rack and causing a mess. We're only smoking them for about an hour, but there's also another little trick that I'm going to show you to help keep them cool. So let's head over to the smoker. Okay, so before I put this into the smoker, I want to show you something. I did lay out the uh, cheese so that they're nice and flat and there's lots of space in between the, uh, the pieces. I want to make sure that the uh, smoke can circulate thoroughly between them. Uh, but before we put this in the smoker, probably notice something a little different in here. What I've got going on is I've got two trays of ice. One on the top, one on the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cheese in the middle and that's going to give me a kind of a cool area to uh, keep the cheese nice and firm and not melt. So the way that goes is just like that. So I've got like a miniature refrigerator around the, uh, the cheese, one on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, okay, let's just set her up. Now you'll probably notice that the ambient temperature here is uh, 51 degrees. Um, as the smoke generator warms up, it's gonna warm the interior temperatures. I'm not sure how high it'll get, but it's gotten up to about 110 to 120 degrees before. I made the, the cheese quite soft. I didn't really want to do that. So all we're going to do is set the smoke for one hour and 20 minutes. And uh, I'll just advance the puck forward. I've already put them in and I've used an alder uh, biscuit, which is perfect. And that's it. It's going to do its thing and I'm going to come out and check it and just make sure that it's all doing what it should be doing. And uh, in about an hour and 20 minutes, I'll have smoked cheese. Mmm, man, I can smell the smoke coming off the cheese. This turned out really well. And, and for your information, the temperature of the uh, smoker only got up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And the temperature of the cheese only made it to 62 degrees in the warmest piece I could find. So it worked out really well. There was no melting and sweating. It, it just took the smoke nicely. And as you can see, it's a slightly different color from the smoke. And all I have to do now is wrap it up in wax paper and tuck it away in the fridge for a few days. You can eat it now if you like, you can try it out, but believe me, it'll be much more enjoyable in a few days when you've given the uh, smoke time to permeate into the cheese and just kind of infuse that lovely smoke flavor throughout the cheese. But your call, I mean, dive into it right now, see what you think. Just know it's gonna be better. Okay, and as promised, Here's the discount coupon code for BradleySmoker.com. We'll see you next time. Cheers.